minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two. Seconds. Go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. Oh, 30 seconds. Counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppression water now flowing under the ML. And here we go. Nine, eight. Houston, as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis One. That lit up. We're now that 16 miles daytime. down range from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, that traveling over 2,800 cool. miles per hour. It was loud and I loved wow. it. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison, and shortly thereafter. miles down range. Aircraft carrier, where are you? Two minutes and 36 seconds into the flight. Hearing nominal calls here in Mission Control Houston. We've still got four good engines on the core stage. Next up, we'll be looking for the service module fairing to separate. This is three 15 by 15 foot fairing panels, providing structural support, protecting the service module. Those will separate at about three minutes and 11 seconds into flight, and very shortly thereafter will be followed by the launch abort system separation. Just over three minutes into the flight of Artemis One, now traveling over 4,060 miles per hour, 83 miles downrange. We just had confirmation that the service module fairing has separated. To the right. And the launch abort system pyros have fired, separating those from Orion as well. For future crew members. Oh, somebody tripped over the cord. <laughs> We just heard the call for three engine press, meaning if SLS were to lose an engine at this point in the mission, we could still achieve a nominal mission. We would just have an extended main engine cutoff time. However, we still have four good engines all at once. We're four minutes. 
minutes and 16 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. So far, we've had a clean ascent. We saw those solid rocket boosters jettison about 2 minutes and 11 seconds after liftoff, shortly after we had the service module pairing, panels fairing separate, as well as the launch abort system. The launch abort system was inert for this flight, except to perform this separation. Those four core stage engines will continue to fire and power the flight of Artemis 1, now traveling over 6,800 miles per hour, 229 miles downrange. <laughs> Booster flight controller reports that the engines are looking good. Our core stage main engine cutoff time is about 8 minutes and 3 seconds. We are now 5 minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, 7,656 7, miles per hour. <laughs> Again, four good core stage engines, those four RS-25 engines. <laughs> the last time those core stage engines flew, they were taking space shuttles to orbit. Now with upgraded capabilities, they're launching the future of human spaceflight. seconds into the mission. We are now traveling 8,800 miles per hour, 345 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. Again, we are anticipating core stage main engine cutoff at about 8 minutes and 3 seconds. And about 10 seconds later, we'll see core stage separation, at which point Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage will be flying free. I can't see it anymore. Wait, is that it or is that a star? Now traveling over 10,000 miles per hour, 6 minutes and 15 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1, 427 miles downrange. Quiet here on the loops in Mission Control Houston. Teams continue to monitor this first flight. Look, say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Robin. About a minute and a half now until that core stage main engine cutoff time. Our four core stage engines continue to fire maximum thrust. Get a code for SEBA terminal count and launch part of this one. Yeah. And in Hitty, launch director. Go ahead, launch director. Yes, sir. On behalf of all the men and women across our great nation who have worked to bring this hardware together to make this day possible, and for the Artemis generation, this is for you. At this time, I give you a go to resume count and launch Artemis 1. <laughs> CBSE and to the 